Welcome to video 11.5. Today we're going to be exploring areas of circles and sectors. Our objective for today is to find the area of a circle and the sector of a circle. To figure out where the area equation for a circle comes from, we want to look at the area of polygons inscribed in circles. Now what we've noticed is as the number of sides continues to grow and this circle gets filled out more and more, the area of the regular polygon approaches the value of pi r squared. The equation to find the area of a circle is pi times the square of the radius or pi times radius squared. So if, if we have the circle and we want to find the area of the circle we use our equation area equals pi times r squared. We know that the radius is 4.3. So we can leave this as area equals 18.49 pi units. If we know the area of a circle, we're able to find the length of the radius. So we have our equation of area equals pi times the radius squared, trying to figure out what the radius is. So we know the area is 104, and we're solving for r. In this scenario, I would divide both sides by pi, and then I would have r squared equals 33.1. Then at this point, I take the square root of both sides. I have r equals about 5.1. Seven. Now that we can find the area of a circle, let's look at finding the area of part of a circle or a sector of a circle. So sector APB we would say is bounded by lines AP, BP, and arc AB. Theorem 11.8 is about the area of a sector. Now we can set up a ratio to find the area of a sector because we know that the area of a sector of a circle is equal to the ratio of the measure of the intercept of arc to 360 degrees. So this is similar to the equation from the previous section, but this time we're talking about the area of a sector of a circle. So in this problem we're going to use that ratio to find the area of the sector shown to the right. So the proportion that we're going to use is the area of a sector divided by the area of a circle is equal to the measure of the arc, the measure of the circle. Now we don't know what the area of the sector is, so that'll be our variable x. We know how to find the area of a circle, it's just pi r squared. Now r in this circle is 6, 6 squared is 36. Now we know the measure of the arc is 135, and we know the measure of a circle is 360. Now here we just cross multiply and divide to find what x is. So we cross multiply, we get 360x equals 15,268. Then we divide both sides by 360, and we have x equals 42.4 centimeters squared. In this problem, we have points A and B that are two points on circle P. Now, circle P has a radius of 9 inches, and the measure of angle APB is 60 degrees. We have to find the area of the sectors formed by angle APB. So there's going to be two areas. We have to find the blue and then we have to find the red. So let's solve for the red one first. So we're going to use the theorem that we learned in this section. So since we don't know what the area of the sector in the red is, we'll, we'll use x to represent that. 
and this will be over the area of the circle. Now it's pi r squared, we know 9 is the radius, so it's 81 times pi, equals 60 divided by 360. So we cross multiply, and we have 360x equals 15268. So we divide both sides by 360, and we have x equals 42.4 units squared. So now to find the area of the blue, what we could do is find the area of the whole circle and subtract it by the area of the red sector. So we know the area of a circle is just pi r squared, which is 81. And now we know the area of the red, 42.4. So when we multiply 81 times pi, we end up with 254.5 subtracted from 42.4. <clears throat> we subtract the two values, and we end up with 212.1 units squared. On this problem, we're going to combine our knowledge of areas of rectangles, areas of sectors, and the areas of a circle. So, to find the area of this wooden case, the first thing we need to do is determine the area of the rectangle. Then, we have to add the area of this half circle but what we need to subtract from that is this circle right here in the middle. So to find the area of the rectangle, it's length times width, so it's 6 times 11 over 2, or 5 and a half. To that, we have to add the area of the sector. Now, it's a half circle, so we have to make sure we include the fact that it's half of 360 degrees. And then we know from the theorem we learned in this section, to find the area of the sector, all we do is multiply that times the radius squared, which in this case is 3. And then finally, we subtract it from the area of the entire circle. Now, since the diameter of the circle is 4, we know that the radius has to be 2. And we're squaring that times pi. So, when we do all of our math, we end up with an area of about 34.6 inches squared. That's going to be the end of this video. Once again, thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful, and take care.